They used to say that only 250,000 people or less had MS in, this, in the country. That's not true. You know, if you talk to people, everyone that you talk to either has someone they're related to or know that has MS. It was really uh, fate, not fate. I, well, it was fate. It was weird. I am a meeting planner, and I was at a hotel at a meeting, and it was a granite floor, and there was some moisture on the floor, and I slipped and hit my head on the doorknob and had a concussion. When I went to the hospital, they uh, did a CAT scan and saw some things that looked strange. They wanted to look further, so they did an MRI, and I was diagnosed with MS. It was very hard to find any information back then. Uh, I started looking like at the end of 05 and, and 06, and I'm very blessed to have a wonderful Chinese friend who is a doctor, and he's from Beijing. And so what I did was I asked him what he thought about stem cells, you know. So he called the doctors he knew in China and the professors he knew in China to see, you know, what was the deal here, you know. And they told him about Baker. They said that Baker was a leader. And so I started doing research on Baker. My neurologist is a character. He um, is sort of a lone wolf. And he kind of says what he thinks. And so I said, okay, I'm going to tell you something. I want to see what you're going to say about it. <laughs> and I said, I've decided I'm going to China for stem cell therapy. I said, what do you think? And he said, well, I think you're grasping at straws. But if I were you, I'd be doing the same thing. Now, when I came back, he made pages of notes. He is now my sounding board, and he is a believer in stem cells. So I kind of changed his mind about stem cells just from seeing my progress. Avonex injections once weekly, and um, I went progressively downhill. Uh, I, had, I was at the point I had no stamina. I could not walk my dog down the street. Just going from one part of the house to the other or taking out laundry or even just getting up and taking a shower and stuff just wore me out. Um, I have a hard time with the right side of my body. If anything happens, uh, it gets very numb, uh, heavy. My leg gets heavy. Um, I would drag it and my foot would drop and I would trip. Uh, balance was a severe issue. I stopped before I went. For stem I stopped six weeks before I went to Shenzhen uh, for therapy uh, because I was taking Avonex, which is a beta interferon, and I did not know what that was going to do with to the stem cells. Um, I'm basically very healthy except for the MS. Um, I take a lot of vitamins. I've always exercised and try to eat right. Uh, I just wanted my body to to be as receptive, you know, to stem cells to give them the advantage. So I stopped about six weeks before I went in, in February of '07, uh, and then when I went to Shenzhen in May, I've never taken it since. Okay, I went in May of '07, and I had five uh, treatments. Uh, four spinals and one IV. Back when I went, uh, this was before they started using the mesenchymal stem cells. Um, that's wonderful. I wish I had them. <laughs> I would have had really phenomenal results, but no, I mean, I was very lucky because uh, I did have phenomenal results. I got my life back. Uh, I think I probably gained 25 years back and my feelings, I felt like I did 25 years ago. Um, and to me, that's phenomenal. I can keep up with my grandkids now. <laughs> They're eight and 11 <laughs> and boys. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's been a lifesaver for me, life changing for me. I had no stamina. When we first got to the hospital, we walked like halfway down the block and back, and that wore me out. Um, after my first injection, we walked all the way around the block, and blocks are pretty big in China. <laughs> but uh, I mean, it seemed like a very long time, but I was 
energetic. By the end of my stay in China, we were going to Lohu and going shopping all day, going up and down stairs, which is extremely hard for people with MS, going up and down stairs. You are always, when you have MS, you're calculating. Uh, okay, that's how many steps, and I need to be careful this and that. You know, you're always looking at stuff. Now I don't have to. I just walk, just like I did before, which is, you know, phenomenal for me when I first got to China. And they have in rehab. I mean, that's one of the things I love about Chinese medicine is that they treat your whole body, not just one, you know, symptom. So um, in rehab, I was walking up the stairs. You go up the stairs frontwards and down backwards. And the doctors were having to stand behind me to catch me because I was so wobbly. And by the time I left, I was able to go very fast up and down, no problem. Uh, they put me on a wobble board and were throwing basketballs to me in slow motion and fast motion. Um, it was amazing, it really was. I do have optic nerve damage and uh, I had severe double vision. And I can remember waking up, not really waking up, because you're really sedated but not asleep after the first spinal and I was sitting there and I looked over to the left, looked over to the right and I said, show off, I can see. I don't see two of everything when <laughs> I look, you know. And then right away, the numbness on the right side of my face, I could drag my fingers across my forehead and the right side felt just like the left side. It was strange. Um, before my eyes were horrible, if I closed them, I would see you know, things, halos and all kind of things. And now when I close my eyes, it's just black, which is good. Um, you know, that was one of the benefits. That's not why I went, but it ended up, you know, I didn't realize how bad it was <laughs> until I felt better. I, I think that's crap, but <laughs> um, to me, the way I look at it, I tend to be a very positive person, and I think the positive attitude helps, but so what if it's a placebo? If you feel better, who cares, you know? It, it's a quality of life issue to me. It's not that it's a cure, but my quality of life has, it's day and night. Um, you know, what can I say? Uh, I don't care if it's a placebo. I don't think it could be a placebo for three years, you know? <laughs> um, and I mean, I assume eventually I'll have to go back for another treatment, but I wouldn't hesitate to go back. Well, I think they need to talk to people who have been there and do as much research as they can, because to me, I'm a researcher and I am, I'm comforted by the more I know about it, the, the better I feel. Um, I think that people still think of China as a third world country and that there's a lot of misconceptions about that. Um, people that have gone there, they will all tell you they would go back in a heartbeat. Um, the people are warm, wonderful people. They're very caring and helpful. Um, you want to take them home with you. <laughs> You know, uh, I mean, the people and the doctors and everybody in China are very caring and very friendly. Uh, sometimes you have a communication problem, uh, but they have translators there that can help you. It's a little challenging. I think you have to be a little adventurous and open-minded and a positive attitude really helps, really does. <laughs>